Welcome to Ridge Life, I'm Tim, and today on Ramblings, I'm canceled. That's right, Ridge Life is canceled. No more. Shut Ridge Life down. Don't let him put any more videos on YouTube. Don't let him speak his mind. Make him go away. Is that what y'all want? Y'all want Ridge Life to go away? I don't think so. I know most of you don't, but some of you do. That's right, Elvis. Some people just want Ridge Life to go away. Don't want them speaking his mind. Well, as you guys know, I really don't talk politics at all. Now, in the past, I, you know, during elections and stuff, I, I said who I support and why I support, but I didn't really campaign and do all that kind of stuff. And throughout the videos, I don't talk about it in my videos. Matter of fact, on ramblings here, I don't even ramble about politics. Now, religion, on the other hand, you know, I, I definitely wear my faith on my sleeve. I, I believe 100% that a person should be real 100% of the time. I'm not gonna act like I'm something I'm not. And I am a Christian. And I got no qualms about that. I even have a Christian YouTube channel that uh, you know I put out videos occasionally on. Ridge Life Lessons, Lessons from the Ridge. So I got no problem with that. But as far as politics and con controversy and drama and conspiracy theory, I just don't play that game. Well. Last night on Ridge Life Live, Tuesday Night Live, uh, I talked about something. Now, a couple weeks ago, I talked about uh, Home Depot, I mean, not Home Depot, Tractor Supply. You know, Tractor Supply is a, a big part of the homesteading community, farming community. And I talked about how they, they um, got in a bad light with their co consumers, with their customers. And uh, they ended up changing their policies they were adopting what's called DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion. These practices where they're going to reinstate affirmative action within private companies to hire based on someone's identity, not based on their qualifications, based on their identity. We have to have a certain number of people that fit this identity, okay? Well, the public heard about that and they blah, said, no, 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 no. We want people that support the community and these values that we want to put our money into. Well, Track Supply changed their tune. Okay, I talked about that on a live because it was important to me. Well, when the president was ass attempted to be assassinated, he was shot, and a spectator killed, a patriot, a couple more injured. I didn't talk about it on my videos. I didn't. I didn't even put it in her ramblings. Really, I, I didn't. But on Tuesday Night's Live last night. I know Elvis, I was mad, but I didn't really let it, I didn't let it get to my videos. Upbeat, Tim's happy, always positive, blah, you know, you know me, right? Always positive. Well, I, I did talk about it on my live last night because DEI was involved again, diversity, equity, and inclusion. And I, I said at the onset to all my moderators, I don't want any politics talked and I don't want any, con um, conspiracy theory. This is a talk about DEI and how it's bad for the country, how it's dangerous to society, and it's a homeland security risk. It's a national security risk. So I, I reported on what the FBI, state police, and local police were reporting on the news. Uh, I said the first half of the show last night was 100% facts. Okay, that's all I reported on was facts. And I said the last half would talk about Ridge Life and everything, you know, and that's just my opinion and all that stuff. Well guys, there's there was so many people that came in and came in afterwards, emailed me, emailed me saying they're disappointed in me and that I'm a misogynist and um, how I'm racist and how I'm a, 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 just a terrible person. And I'm like, not once did I say pro, yay, or nay on any topic. I didn't bring up any political topic. One thing they really got mad at me about was calling President Trump president. And I'm like, have you people not lived before? President Trump, President Obama, President Carter, President Reagan, President you know, uh, Clinton, Governor Bush, Governor Abbott, Governor, Governor, Senator, Representative. These are titles. 
And when they retire, when they leave office, <coughs> they retain that title. That's just title etiquette, okay? So when I say President Trump, he is President Trump. President Obama, President Obama left office a while ago. He's still a president. He's just a retired president, right? Done his terms. He's still president, he still deserves that respect. I don't respect his policies, but I respect the title of president. So if you don't like President Trump, that's fine. I, again, I didn't want to talk about politics. I didn't want to talk about conspiracy theory, that someone planned this. Well, someone did plan it, the crazy guy who pulled the trigger. I just talked fact. So what happened? I got all these emails, I got all these comments, and I talked to David from Come On Homesteading, uh, told him what I was gonna go do my live about, and he said, oh, Tim, you sure you wanna do that? And I said, well, it's, it's, it's something that moves me, right? This whole DEI thing and our president getting shot. I mean, if it was Biden getting shot, I'd be just as mad. If his Secret Service detail did what they did, right? Whenever Kamala Harris's Secret Service detail, the girl got in a fight and argument and had to be removed, and it's just, you just don't hire, you just don't hire that way. If you're not the top of the top, you don't guard the president. I don't care if you're Obama, Clinton, Reagan, Trump, Biden, anybody. I want my presidents to be protected, okay? And they drop the ball. And I believe DEI is to blame. I truly believe DEI is to blame. If you look at what's changed, DEI, 30-30. The DEI secretary wants 30% of the DEI by 2030 to be female. And uh, I, I'm off. I told, and that's another thing. People said I, I said women shouldn't do this and women shouldn't do that. I never said that. I never. I matter of fact, I said all the great things women do better and can do and should do, do more of. Right? I was a biology major in college. I I, I studied the sciences, and women are amazing at sciences. They truly are. Uh, whenever I was in a school, it was me and a, 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 a female that were the top in our class. She was 100%, me and her fighting back and forth to become number one in our field, in school. And uh, totally respect women's abilities to uh, lead and, uh, and in improvise and innovate. W women are amazing and they're beautiful too. And women would say guys are handsome. There's nothing wrong with saying a woman's beautiful. There's nothing wrong with saying a guy is handsome or smart, a woman's smart, a man's smart. They're athletic, they're graceful, they're poised. That's how God created us, beautifully in his image. So I, I, I don't get that. Uh, women can do amazing things. Now I talked about the Patarian the guard, the, guy, the guys that surround the president need to be a huge mass of flesh to guard him, to keep him safe. Oops, I'm sorry about that. David Warren. David, why are you calling me during my uh, ramblings? <laughs> I just put him to voicemail. <laughs> Y'all go over and tell uh, David, uh, I saw Tim put you to voicemail. <laughs> uh, please, yeah, go over to Come On Homesteading, Keeping It Real, and say, I watch Tim on ramblings put, send you to voicemail. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. All right, so this cancel culture, right? Cancel culture. Uh, I did a live where I said no politics, no controversy, no, no drama. I just wanted to you know, talk about this subject, how I was mad about our president being shot. And if you don't like President Trump, and he wasn't your president, he was still the president of the United States. He still is a president, right? He's not the sitting president, he's not the active president, but he is a president. And if you, I don't care if you didn't like what he did, and I don't care if you don't like what Biden does, he's the president of the United States. So, I got emails, I got comments, which is fine. I, I love the comments, I love, I, I love reading your emails. And I got up this morning and I lost a ton of subscribers. Now I've been gaining in subscribers consistently for a while. Been putting out a lot of land clearing content, homesteading and, and uh, off-grid solar going that direction, right? And uh, here Tim did, spoke his mind on Ridge Life Live 
and uh, loses a lot of subscribers. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Guys, you read this shirt right here? I don't know if you can read it in this uh, light. Ridge Life. This isn't your life. This isn't, this is my life, right? I, I'm going to present my life. Some of you will really like it and think Tim's a goofball. Tim's funny. Tim, Tim knows a lot of stuff. Tim knows how to do things. I just put on a new exhaust on my Harley Davidson and put a, a, a DIY video out on Ridge Life's reviews and how-tos on how to replace your own exhaust. Save you a couple thousand bucks. Some of y'all enjoy watching you know me watch Josh clear land up on the ridge you that you like you like hear me run over my camera <laughs> Tim Tim will do anything to get us a good shot but some of you however don't don't like that I'm a Christian and I I have a faith-based channel I did separate it from Ridge Life but I still talk about it on my on Ridge Life and Ridge Life ramblings because I am a Christian you know I, I don't have I don't have no qualms about it. I have great friends and beautiful family going to my daughter's uh, baby shower this Saturday, this weekend. Can't wait to see her. But some don't. Some don't like what I've got to say and the way I live and my, my lifestyle and my belief system. And they are within 100% of their right to choose not to watch and to unsubscribe. I'm okay with it because I want to surround myself with people that are like-minded, that like me doing what I'm doing. Now, that doesn't go to say that everybody has to like everything I do. I put out a video on rabbits. Some of you like don't like watching meat rabbit videos because you're against, you know, you, some of you are, are vegetarians or vegans. I, I'm fine with that. You like watching the land clearing, the dozer and the excavator. I'm fine with that. And a lot of you don't watch those videos when they come out because you, you you don't really care for the content, right? Some of you don't, some of people on Ridge Life aren't subscribed to Ramblings because they don't want to just see me talk, bloviate, right? Ramble on. But some do. And some subscribe and some don't. I'm perfectly fine with that. So those that want to cancel me are the ones that I'm worried about. Those that not only that not only unsubscribe, but they go over to other platforms to talk bad about me and uh, hey if it's true if it's the truth I need to own up to it right be man about it I'm okay with that but when it's not true when people say that uh, you know I'm I'm campaigning for a certain candidate or I'm a misogynist anti-feminist uh, uh, homophobe and and uh, all of these things it's, I've never ever said things like that God loves all people and I want to be just a little bit like God. I'm not perfect. I, you know, I make mistakes. I, I say things I shouldn't. But I believe that my belief systems are mine. Yours are yours. And you can have them all day long. I'm not going to go to your house and, and uh, track you down and, 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 and protest outside. Well, you know, you could. If you want to protest, that's fine. I, I'm not a public. I'm not a government official. I'm not a business. I'm just him. Right? But you, you have the right in America to do all that stuff, but canceling somebody means shutting them down from the, uh, the from their platform, from their mode of making money, from the, their mode of paying for their kids' college and, and food on the table. I'm not too big into that. I'm not too big into the cancel culture, especially because the cancel culture is judgmental, right? It's not usually based on fact, it's based on feeling, right? Oh, I don't like that guy. I heard he's this. Let's go out and shut him down. And that goes for both sides, guys. I, I, I don't like cancel culture on left or right. I think that uh, people should be judged on the merits of their ability and their actions, right? Not on hearsay and accusation and innuendo. This whole Me Too movement, right? Yes. Uh, 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 harassment is wrong and sexual abuse is wrong but to soon as a claim comes out cancel someone shut them down unhire them make them suicidal that's just wrong that's just wrong everybody should have their day in court should have a, a chance to say what they want to say 
Let them stand on their own merit. Let their laurels precede them. Let their reputation uphold their character, right? Because character is not something you create. Character is something you have and you are. You can present a fake persona, but it will come out. I promise you. I promise you it will come out. And all the family that know me know exactly what I am and where I come from, guys. Uh, I'm 100% there, right? What you see is what you get. I live in a camper. I don't live at Grandma Carol's. David always jokes about that. Actually, I was talking to Sid from Three Mississippi when she came here the other day to drop off Lillian when I took Lillian over to Country Road Cure. She said, oh, so uh, this is where you uh, do your videos from? I said, no, this is where I live. I sleep in the camper. I eat in the camper. I edit videos in the camper. I watch TV in the camper. Well, I eat a lot of time over at Grandma Carol because <laughs> she makes some good food, okay? Ooh, she made some uh, venison sirloin bites the other night. I, 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 I had harvested a lot of deer here on the ridge and uh, I gave her a sirloin and she thawed it out and chopped it into chunks and uh, cooked it medium rare and seasoned it with Montreal steak, uh, Montreal seed. Ooh, it's so good. Anyway, Grandma Carol cooks pretty good. So I do eat a lot over there. I do laundry over there. I don't have a washer and dryer in the camper. So I do laundry over there. And occasionally I'll take a shower over there. I got a shower over here. I shower over here a lot of the times, but occasionally if I want to take a long hot shower, because she has a tankless water heater, uh, I'll go over to Grandma Carol's take a shower. But over here, I got like a little five gallon water heater. It don't last that long. But when you're working out on the ridge, getting dehydrated, sometimes a cold shower feels pretty good. Yeah, but Sid said, uh, you know, this is, this is where you, uh, <laughs> no, this is where I live. And very soon I'll be moving this up to the ridge, okay? Um, because tomorrow I've got a video coming out where um, I, I work the ground, me, I work the ground. Then I got a video coming out where uh, me and Morgan go pick up my solar uh, racking carport and, and I, I pick it up, I, deli I unload it, make some mistakes, but I did it. <laughs> uh, matter of fact, this video came out Thursday, I got, I got into some chemical situations. Uh, you gotta be careful when working with lime, okay? Actually, gonna premiere that video at uh, 5:15 tomorrow, I believe, 5:15 Central. Um, then, of course, I, I got another video coming out of more working on the ridge uh, when I run over my camera and um, I'm flushing out the well and, and 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 fixing some erosion issues with the tractor and all that. I got that video coming out. So many fun things. And guys, to be canceled, to be shut down because of a live stream I did, giving my uh, reporting on what the FBI, the, 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 the state police, and the local police have reported to the, to the, to the world, okay? I, I just went to uh, the, uh, uh, AP, NPR, CNN, uh, CBS, I'm trying to think of all the places I got my information from. Don't just get it off Fox News, okay? Uh, or the Daily Wire, or you know, or Politico. I get, it, I get it from all sources, right? And I just reported on what they reported to these organizations. Shut him down. Don't like what I have to say and then start making accusations. Because when they can't win on their own merits, they start calling names. You're a misogynist. You're, you, you, you hate women. You, you're a bigot. You're a racist. You, totally based on feeling and opinion, not based on fact. Nothing, on, nothing I've ever said, right? Nothing I've ever said for sure. So. Not gonna let it get me down. Matter of fact, I'm gonna rise above it. Rise above it. Ah. <laughs> ah, rise above it, okay? Not gonna let it get me down. Gonna lift it up. <laughs> Tim, you're a goofball, that's right. Tim is a goofball. All right, guys, I am waiting for a FedEx truck. I actually have Nero. Uh, where's he at? Oh, he's right here beside me. I got Nero right here. Uh, um, tied up to his uh, collar here at the ridge crib. Hope he doesn't pull the ridge crib because I got him tied to the ridge crib. Normally he just runs around free in the daytime. But uh, FedEx is coming and I have to sign for my new camera to be delivered since I destroyed my old one. Um, and I, it, it, they won't deliver. They won't come past that S curve if they see Nero running down the road. They'll they'll say, you come pick it up. So I got Nero right here. It was a buddy. And uh, as soon as the camera gets delivered, I'll take him off the off the, the collar. He doesn't even wear a collar. He has a um, 
flea and tick collar on right now. I, I do the thing on his back. I also do the flea collar, and of course he gets heartworm shots. We take care. We take care of our doggies. We take care of our. Doggies. Anyway, so as soon as the camera gets here, I'll be happy. And guys, I've got some big news on Freedom Weekend Ridge Lifestyle. Freedom on the Ridge. Okay. Actually, I need your help there, and I'll talk about this more later. But what should I call Freedom Weekend on the Ridge? Besides just Freedom on the Ridge, you know. What's, what's a good name for next year's? Because I've got some big news coming up, hopefully tomorrow. Depending on what happens, you know, with all the craziness in the world right now, tomorrow I may talk about the big news for Freedom Weekend next year. So guys, gonna let you go. Until next time, hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day. Keep rambling. Go Ridgeside.